Welcome back here at Cardines Field. Hope you enjoyed the recap of last night's contest. Of course, the Newport Gulls they take game one of the series 14-2. Now here for the Gulls Insider, but joined by Newport Gulls official scorer, our statistician and post-game show host here on the NACBR Broadcast Network, Tim Scott. Tim, thanks for joining us once again here. Oh, it's always a pleasure to join you on this. Tim, you were with the team last night as the Newport Gulls fell to the San Fernando 7-6 on the road. It was a tough loss. Yes, it was a very tough loss. It's always a tough loss to lose an extra innings. But it was still a great game nonetheless. We came back from a 6-3 to three deficit, and we played well throughout. Even though we didn't win the game, it was still a great game. Last night, the Gulls initially had a 1-0 lead. The Manders battled back, tied at 1-1. Newport took a 2-1 lead, and John Hockstad had granted a little trouble in the fifth inning. Yes, he did. He allowed four home runs, two of them the pitchers, John Gorman and Matt Horan. He also allowed two home runs to Jordan Betts, and he also allowed one to Anthony Hajar. He allowed five home runs in the night. Then John Brzezinski came in and pitched great in relief. Yeah, Brzezinski was sensational. He certainly kept the Newport Gulls in the ball game, let them come back to tie it. Yes, he did. Brzezinski kept them calm for a few innings there. He pitched four and two innings total. It was just a great game for him. Six strikeouts. He just really pitched well, and it really showed his development throughout the season. So, Tim, tonight the Newport Gulls and San Fermini's here in game three. Might as well be a uh, fresh start here for the series. It doesn't matter what happened before, it just matters what happens here tonight. Yes, it does. Both the pitchers have had great histories so far. Trip Davis and, Anth and Peter Kellich, both the starting pitchers tonight. Should be a great game for two of them. Peter Kellich had nine strikeouts in his last start for the goals against the Mainers. So it should be a great start for him. I'm looking forward to seeing him get some strikeouts tonight. He leads the team with 49 strikeouts. Trip Davis 2-6 and six on the season, but he has pitched well in the past. And that start on July 26th, he had eight strikeouts. So it should be a lot of strikeouts tonight. So what are the keys of the ball game here for tonight for the Newport Gulls? They've played good defense through the series so far. The San Fernandez, however, have not. Yes, the main key tonight for the goals on defense is to keep doing what they're doing. They have no errors through two games, and that's really important to maintain that throughout the series, especially tonight when defense is everything. Sanford, the key for them is to get in a good defensive position, and also pitching will be a big factor, hitting will be a big factor. Everything will come into play tonight. It's big game, big situation. Of course, the biggest thing of all, score more runs than the other guy. Yeah, score more runs than the other guy. That's the big key. Both offenses have done really well this series. The goals have scored 20 runs as a team. So I'm looking forward to seeing them get some more runs tonight. They should do really well. Tim Scott, our official scorer, statistician, post-game show host. Thanks for joining us here. We'll see you up in the broadcast booth later on. I'll see you later. That's the Goals Insider. Our Newport Goals pregame show continues next on the NECBR Broadcast Network.